Hey friends, welcome to Tori Talks TV. I'm Tori. And I'm Dr. S. On this episode, we'll be reviewing This Is Us Season 4, Episode 17, called After the Fire, or what I would call What If Jack Lived. Yes, that's what it was. It was. Mm. It was a very thoughtful episode. Or What If Jack Lived According to Randall. According to Randall, that's true. Well, there were two different fantasies mm -hmm. because of this exercise that his doctor mm -hmm. recommended. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the first fantasy where like everything was perfect. He saved Jack and he saved his biological My father. My favorite part was when they both went to like AA together. Oh. And I was like, seriously? That was... That was a bit much. Kind of <laughs> like... Well, I knew at that point where it was going. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Um, but... It was kind of sad seeing that that's how, you know, I know. It, that he would still meet Beth and he'd still have the same kids and yes. everything would just be yes. wonderful and everybody lives. He clearly never watched Sliding Doors. I was thinking of Sliding <laughs> Doors. Yeah, exactly. But I really appreciated when Dr. Lee was like, okay, did you, do you want to play some like kids games? Because yes. uh, yeah. you're not being, I'm calling BS on you. Yeah. Like. That was that so was cool. Good. I love that therapist. Yeah, she's, she's like, great. Mm -hmm. The actress is great. Yeah, so then, of course, he's defensive, and I understand. This yeah. is probably a lot of pressure on him, mm -hmm. and it is obviously causing anxiety. So then in the second fantasy is more like the worst-case scenario, yeah. and I couldn't even watch it. I felt like I was getting uncomfortable like Randall. I, I was like, wow. it was too hard to watch uh, Rebecca and Jack not getting along, because it all seems to be that... Rebecca, the secret mm -hmm. of William. Yeah. In the first scenario, he's like, it's fine. Yes. Randall's like, whatever, he I forgive you. He forgives her and he moves on and he's fine. In the second scenario, he can't forgive her. He's it's a so whole drastic. new person. Oh, he's angry. Oh, I didn't But you know what that. I thought was funny is like, why is angry Randall like kind of cool? <laughs> he, he was kind of yeah, cool. He was like doing that, like the stomping thing. Was that oh, called? I was like, oh, yeah. that's pretty cool. But then he was too angry. Yeah, it just wasn't our Randall. He was like turtleneck professor guy. He had earrings. With all his teaching assistants. Yeah. Like the gold chain. I was like, oh. He was uncomfortable yeah. for me. Yes. The best thing I liked about that it fantasy. Was well done, it was well done. The be My favorite part of that scenario was that Kevin married Sophie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and did you see Kate with her two girls? Little and that girls. guy. Yeah. That guy. Are we supposed to know who he is? If you know who he is, let us know. I mean, if he's I, appeared before. Yeah, I don't know. Because I like, he looked familiar. Like, maybe I've seen the actor before, mm -hmm. but have we seen this character before? This totally could have been so. a, like, part one, part two, part three thing where oh. each one of them tells their version of what if dad didn't die. They could have done it that way. That would have been cool. Yeah, like, maybe next season because mm -hmm. the season's almost over. Yeah. Well, the biggest reality check slap in the face came when Dr. Lee says, um, hey, do you think maybe all these problems stem from... Your mom and her keeping this secret yes. from your mother. Mm -hmm. So, excellent, excellent acting by Sterling K. Brown when he realizes that the therapist is right. He's just yeah. got that, those tears just sitting there waiting yeah. to fall. And that was, I mean, even for us, I think we're like, oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. what this Dang. is about. Yes. Yeah, because he's been protecting her. In both mm -hmm. scenarios, he protects her. Yeah. And he, and I think that. She obviously doesn't want this for him, but mm -hmm. it happened. I mean, he just her keeping that secret and him just forgiving it. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't just go away. No, it doesn't. Yeah. But really, the ending is what got me and broke me. Oh, did you cry? I did, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I Tori never cried. cried. I hardly right ever cried. The, the I wasn't sobbing, episode. but there were yeah. tears oh, man. that mirrored his tears. <laughs> so what did you think of, like, that whole exchange on the phone, though? I'm still processing like it all. yeah I yeah. am too because I didn't well first of all I was I didn't expect it to go that way me neither okay I was like wait is this gonna be like you're mad at her where are you gonna take I this? thought they're gonna hash out the secret they didn't hash out the secret he it was kinda, like, you I never asked you for your, anything in his face you're doing face. this like it was taking charge taking control like he always does or trying to at least mm -hmm. and no he's like i've never asked you for anything every time he kept saying i was a good son really just ripped at my heart yeah. i was a good son i was a good son i was like you were yeah. a good son and rebecca gave in and yeah. she's gonna do this so whole she clinical gonna trial. do this do you think she's gonna do this or are they gonna is this why they're not talking to him that's what i think she's gonna change her mind and say nope and tell them i think kevin's gonna like break her out of it like yeah. break her out of the 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 clinical trial and then randall's gonna be upset yeah. and 
yeah this yeah. is obviously where this is leading yeah. so it's I'm, like i see both sides now though I know. last week i was like randall I'll leave her alone mm -hmm. but then i'm like okay i get it but still i'm not see I don't know. i'm so torn we're very protective of randall we are what is this codependency <laughs> that everybody has? That's the theme here is codependency. Yes, yes. I don't know. It was a great episode. It didn't go where I thought it would go, oh. which is pretty typical yeah, of This Is Us. But, and that's what I, I mm -hmm. that's like my favorite part about this show. So yes. well done. Yes. And there's only one episode left. Oh, it's I the finale. It. I know. I know. I, and it's The Strangers Part 2. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. So it's going to uh -oh. remember in the, the first episode of the season was The Strangers, and we met Cassidy and... Oh, ba um, Baby Jack? Baby well, Jack. Yeah, and, that's right. Malik. Uh, Malik. Well, I did see... In the preview, we see Baby Jack as an adult. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so... Oh, my gosh. Full this, circle. That's right. Good catch. Oh. All right. Well... I can't believe that this season is almost oh, coming to an end. I'm so sad. I know. I, I wanted to go on forever. It's been an amazing season. Great yes. job. Mm -hmm. I'm super impressed. Okay, so we'll see you next time when we review episode 18, the season finale of season four. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Yeah.